Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to talk about what is Kubernetes and gosh oh gosh Kubernetes is another such term which has a pinpoint precise and accurate definition but it sounds like jargon. Anybody who wants to get started to know what is even Kubernetes and uh, where it is being used it is so much to decide from the definition itself. But don't you worry, in this video we're going to understand about everything that you should know about what is Kubernetes, how it is being used and what you can do with it. And to put up my point, I would first like to bring you on the laptop and I will give you the definition of the Kubernetes so that you can also understand that yeah, it is a jargon and by the end of this video you will understand that yeah, it was a pinpoint and precise definition yet a jargon. So let me walk you through with that. So whenever you look onto the Kubernetes definition, it says something like this. Kubernetes, or also sometimes known as K8s, but we're going to call it as Kubernetes. Kubernetes is used to orchestrate containerized cloud-native microservices apps. Yeah, absolutely perfect definition, but makes zero sense. So let me walk you through that what Kubernetes is, and we're going to just break this down definition and we'll give you more overview from a practical standpoint of view so that you can actually know what Kubernetes is. See, now the application that we are building on the web are changing quite a lot. We used to just pack everything up like a monolith application and just throw them on the servers. Now things are moving into a different definition and moreover in the part of or definition of microservices where each of your application is not just built once, it's being built by different teams. Some team is defining about how the videos are going to play. Some team is working on how certificates are going to be designed and dispatched. Some team are working that how the authentication flow are going to be working and they are in communication with each other but are kind of independent with each other. These are known as microservices. Now, not only microservices, we are moving towards an era where we want to containerize all these applications. In simple words, we design our application and we package it up. And we package it in a similar way that not only just the application code, but all the dependencies and even some part of OS which are absolutely required to run it actually moves along with the application. One of the common term you might have seen with them is Docker, but that is not alone the containerization application. We have ContainerD and a whole lot others as well. Okay, Hitesh, we understand that how the applications are now designed and how we are containerizing them, but where does Kubernetes comes into the picture in all of this? For this, we're going to break down this entire definition and you will understand it one by one. So first, let's just say what still Kubernetes is. So according to the definition, we're going to break down these jargon words one by one. First, coming up onto the orchestration. So if I move into orchestration, it's simply nothing much more than managing your application. What do you mean by managing your application? The management of an application requires or involves the deployment of the application. Maybe you want to scale it up. Maybe you want to scale it down. Maybe you want to have it self-healing. And by the term self-healing, I mean if some of that application, which are a lot of these applications, one of them goes down, another instance should be automatically be there. And apart from this, you can also have some rolling of updates and maybe roll back if something goes wrong. So this whole management thing is known as orchestration, which is one of the key point in the definition of Kubernetes. Another one is containerized. And we have already seen that containerized doesn't mean just Docker, but yes, it's a whole concept of packaging your application and putting that on the cloud. So app runs that in the container are termed as containerized application. Then comes up is the cloud native. This is kind of a new term up here. But what do you mean by cloud native application? It's simple words if you want to say the cloud native application, they are application designed in a specific way so that it can scale it up and scale it down. You can launch as many instances as you want and as less as you want. Now, obviously, at first look, it looks like, hey, our regular application can also do that. But if you take a bit more advantage of scalability and horizontal scaling of the application, it will make much more sense. And thus, the application which are specifically designed for the self-healing concept or rolling updates back and forth, these are known as cloud native applications. And finally, the microservices, an application which is built from a lot of independent small specialized part that works together. For example, we might have an authentication service. We might have a video conversion service, which we also use. We might have a video streaming service, again, which we also use, but this is basics. And again, there can be more, something like discussion section. There can be certificates. Uh, there can be a whole lot of things. 
So now, I hope you understand, this management of all these kinds of specialized applications needs a special tool that can monitor all these things and thus comes into the picture of Kubernetes. And yes, Kubernetes exactly does all of this. In fact, this one thing for you, it is basically management tool for all of your containerized applications so that you can play around on the cloud. But not only that, not only that, the specialty of the Kubernetes lies with this infrastructure. Now, Kubernetes was a tool which was designed so that you can be cloud independent. Today, you are loving AWS, but tomorrow you might not. You might want to move into Google Cloud or maybe your own cloud. Kubernetes makes it possible that you are independent of the cloud lock and you can move on to any cloud infrastructure without worrying about anything. All of your orchestration is going to move along with you. All of your applications are going to move along with you. And thus, Kubernetes is so much in popularity and demand. I hope this video has given you full clarity about what Kubernetes is. And if you are more interested in that, let me know in the comment section. I'll make more videos on that. Let me know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel, and let's catch up in the next video. Every day I see miserable people Doing things they hate just to fit in I know it's easier to get along peacefully But have you ever thought about you?